So thank you so much. Leo tumepata nafasi ya kuweza kuzungumza na mmoja wa viongozi ambao ni viongozi tajika hapa katika nchi ya Kenya. Ni kiongozi mwanamke ambaye tumeona ameweza kupigania masuala kadhaa na vile vile aliweza uh, kutoa miswada mbali mbali katika bunge Gladys Boss Shule na vile vile um, ataweza tu kutueleza mawili matatu kuhusiana na uongozi wa mwanamke hapa nchini. Karibu sana. Asante. Asante sana pia kwa kukubali uh, kuzungumza nasi hii leo. Yes. Uh, labda mtu anaweza tuuliza Gladys Boss Shule ni nani? Maana mara nyingi wakati unapata mwanamke amefika katika ile nafasi ya uongozi pale juu, mm. mtu angetaka kujua huyu mwanamke anajua kuna mambo mengi ameweza kupitia changamoto. Utakiuliza Gladys Boss Shule ni nani? Mm. Gladys Boss Shule kwanza kazi yangu ya kwanza na muhimu yenye nimepewa na Mwenyezi Mungu, mimi ni mama. Mm. Eh, niko na vijana watatu, msichana mm. mmoja mm. eh, wa niko na wale bado wako primary na wale wamemaliza university. Mm -hmm. e, sasa kwanza mimi ni mama. Mm -hmm. Tena pia mimi ni rafiki ama daughter sister. Mbona niko na dada yangu hapa tumekuja na yeye. Mm -hmm. So na pia mimi ni mkulima. Mm -hmm. e, nafuga ngombe, mm -hmm. e, mkulima wa mahindi. Mm -hmm. So alafu baada hiyo pia mimi ni ni wakili. So naanza kwanza na kazi ya mama naisha ya wakili na inaishia na pia ile ya mwanasiasa. Ah okay. Yes. Na mtu anaweza uliza Gladys Boss shule alisoma hadi kama gani? Shule ya msingi alisoma wapi? Shule mm. ya upili. Mm. Mm. Eh, kwanza nilianzia shule katika Wasingishu County. Mm -hmm. Shule inaitwa Hill School Primary School. Mm -hmm. Baadaye nikakuwa Loreto Matunda pale Moise Bridge jirani ya hapa Kakamega County. Mm -hmm. uh, baada ya hiyo nikaenda Moy Girls Eldoret. Nikimaliza pale nikaenda University of Nairobi kusomea sheria nikimaliza kusomea sheria nikasomea degree ya pili kwa sheria pia mm -hmm. katika University of Cape Town kule mm -hmm. South Africa mm -hmm. uh, na baadaye nilifanya MBA mm -hmm. uh, katika chuo ya Jomo Kenyatta University nilijaribu kwenda kuanza kazi uh, kusomea PhD mm -hmm. katika University of Ghent nilikuwa nimepata scholarship mm -hmm. lakini nilianza nikafanya mwaka moja lakini ikanishinda kwa sababu nilikuwa na watoto wadogo mm -hmm. so siku moja nilikapiga simu kutoka Belgium mtoto wangu alikuwa analia kwa simu mm -hmm. nikasema acha hii kazi ikae sana <laughs> labda wakati ulipokuwa mm -hmm. unasoma katika shule ya msingi ya upili kuna changamoto ambazo labda pengine ulikuwa unapitia wewe mwenyewe kama mm -hmm. mtoto wa kike mm -hmm. ama kuna zile changamoto tu za nyumbani za watu upitia mm -hmm. yeah did you come from us uh, a mm -hmm. humble background mm -hmm. na labda pengine kuna vitu ambavyo mlikuwa mnakosa pale nyumbani mm -hmm. Uh, uh, v, ma, vile nililelewa uh, wazazi wangu hawakuwa watu na mali mm -hmm. lakini walikuwa watu wafanyi kazi mama yangu alikuwa secretary junior secretary katika Mosori ya Teachers College kule Nandi County uh, na baba yangu alikuwa uh, a junior askari katika uh, katika jeshi na alikuwa anafanya kazi kule Nyanyuki na Kuru so tulikuwa nyumbani katika Nandi County na mama mm -hmm. e, na lakini nashukuru wazazi yangu walikuwa na vision kubwa sana kwa sababu ingawa wako na pesa ya kuweza kutupeleka hiyo shule inaitwa e, Hill School kwa sababu ilikuwa mashule ya watu wakubwa mm -hmm. tulikuwa nasoma na watoto ya kina Mijai mwenye alikuwa PC mm -hmm. the Omamos walikuwa nasoma na sisi mm -hmm. lakini nakumbuka uncle yangu mmoja alikuwa 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 amekuwa senator ya Elgeo Marakwet mm -hmm. kwa lejiko ile bunge la kwanza after independence mm -hmm. akaeleza wazazi yangu kwamba jaribu kupeleka watoto wenu hill school kwa sababu wake walikuwa pale mm -hmm. na wazazi yangu walishughulika sana kuhakikisha tuingie hill school mm -hmm. so kama nilikuwa na kiatu kiatu ilikuwa ile ya uniform peke yake mm -hmm. na kama nilikuwa na kwa mzuri mzuri ilikuwa ile ya uniform mm -hmm. so ni kujikaza walikuwa na jikaza so sisi tulikuwa na bahati kwa sababu wazazi wetu walitoa kila kitu yenye walikuwa nayo mm -hmm. kuhakikisha tumepata the best education mm -hmm. ingawa hatukuwa na kufika hiyo kiwango mm -hmm. hata kwa shule tulikuwa tunajulikana ni wale watoto wanakuja na mguu mm -hmm. wakikuja shule mm -hmm. <laughs> ni uliize unajua mara nyingi mtoto anapokuwa mtoto awe shule katika shule ya msingi shule opila, na kwa na doto nataka mm -hmm. kuwa nani nataka kuwa nani wewe mwenyewe mm -hmm. wakati kwa mdogo ulikuwa mm -hmm. ushaifikiria kwa utaingia katika masuala ya siasa au wa siasa uh, kwa mimi binafsi naweza sema siku kwa na si kwa na ndo, ndoto yoyote because nikiwa mdogo huwezi kuamini sasa lakini i was a very weak student mm -hmm. i was not an a student hata kidogo 
In fact, katika Hill School Primary tukifanya school ilikuwa inaitwa CPE. I had the lowest mark in Hill School. Mm -hmm. uh, tukifanya hiyo CPE. Lakini nilipata bahati kwa sababu dada yangu mkubwa alikuwa Loreto Matunda. Sasa uh, my parents wakaenda kuongea na our sisters wakaambia toki hawa wasichana wakwe kwa shule tofauti mm -hmm. unaweza kumchukua. So nikachukuliwa Loreto Matunda si kwa sababu nilikuwa nimepata marks ya kutoshea. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa tu kwa sababu hawa nuns walisema hawa sisters wakwe tukwe kwa shule moja na dada yangu. So mm -hmm. nikafanikiwa na nikaweza kuingia Loreto Matunda. Even Loreto Matunda nikienda form 1, form 2 nilikuwa number last, number last. Lakini nilikuwa mtu wa bidi hata kama naanguka narudia kusoma mm -hmm. nikianguka narudia kusoma na jaribu kuuliza wale walikuwa napita mm -hmm. vile kufanya so i was a hard working student mm -hmm. very committed baadaye by the time nikifika form 3 sijui akili yangu ikaanza kufunguka kidogo mm -hmm. and by the time nilifika form 4 i was a straight a student mm -hmm. so huwa naambia watu usijali mtoto akiwa mdogo yes. na unaanza kusema oh yeah, uh, uh, is not okay mm -hmm. uh, uh, are you academic Hata watoto yangu wani wali mwalimu wakinipigia simu wana nambia mm -hmm. Tutaka wako week kwa, kwa esabu hivi wana nambia mwalimu Hui mtuta nafanya homework Hata kama ni wrong, bora hamefanya, alifanya yes mm -hmm. Ni mtu, mtoto mwenye heshima, mm -hmm. ndiyo Ni mtoto mwenye ako, ako eh, ni disciplined Anafanya kazi yake vile anailezo na mwalimu Mwalimu wakisema ndiyo nambia yo zingine usijali Wachana nazo, Wachana nazo. Wachana nazo. <laughs> yes, yes So I, I believe in that Unajua hii kitu ya kuambia watoto you have to be an A student mm -hmm. Sio kimtu mzuri because I was not an A student but I was disciplined and I was hard working. Mm -hmm. Na ukiambia watoto if you are consistently work hard mm -hmm. you will finally succeed. Sasa hii safari yako ya siasa ilianzia wapi? <laughs> eh nikusema kweli siko na tarajia nitawahi kuingia siasa. Mm -hmm. eh, in fact siasa yes, nilikuwa naiona tu kwa TV pale. Eh, lakini nili, mimi nilikuwa mwanasheria bado mimi ni mwanajeshi sheria huwa mm -hmm. I'm first an officer of the court kabla sure. sijaanza kazi yoyote nyingine na nili 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 nimeshika nimekuwa na kazi kubwa kubwa katika serikali mm huwa -hmm. mimi nasema mimi ni a total public servant mm -hmm. kwa sababu nimefanya all three arms of government wow. nimefanya judiciary nimefanya executive na nimefanya sasa katika bunge nitakana mm -hmm. kuja media pia <laughs> <laughs> sasa you know hata vile naishi kwa hizi ma TV stations zenu so sasa zimeingia <laughs> media. Ni na mambo ya fourth stage kabisa. <laughs> okay. Na wakati niliingia mara yangu kusikia siasa ni wakati nilitoka Kenya Law Reports. Eh nilikuwa nimefundisha university before that. Eh nilikuwa nimefanya United Nations Environment Program. Eh nilikuwa naitwa International Waters Consultant. <laughs> so nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya uh, mazingira ya ya maji katika oceans uh, lakes and so on na nikakuja kufundisha university hata ile kazi nilianzia university nilikuwa nasimamia uh, project ilikuwa inaitwa law of the sea na nikawacha hiyo nikakuja katika Kenya law reports na nikaweza kuwa CEO na editor na ilikuwa mara ya kwanza Kenya kuanza law reports baada ya miezi sh, miaka 20 ya kutokuwa na law reports mm -hmm. na nakumbuka niliona tu kwa gazeti nikasema we've never had law reports haya nataka hiyo kazi so that. kazi sijawahi kufanya in one area mm -hmm. nimekuwa different areas mm -hmm. na nikafundisha university wanafunzi wangu walikuwa watu kama Murkomen mm -hmm. Kangata wow. Peter Kaluma mm -hmm. um, Ki, uh, Governor Sang wa wow. Nandi County alikuwa so mwanafunzi wangu. Wana yes, wangu. kina Kipchumba Karori wala unaona kwa TV mm -hmm. hawa walikuwa wanafunzi wangu. Wow. Uh, na kina Daniel Maanzo mm -hmm. uh, kina Mariro mwenye alikuwa MP wa Laikipia. Mm -hmm. So ipan tu ya so, mwenye ako Hawa wote wenye unasema hawa wote Kwa nini una minga minga piko <laughs> <laughs> Utani uliza badai <laughs> <laughs> Kama mwafunza hawa wote Now mm -hmm. you look sweet 16 <laughs> Asante <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah so hawa wote walikuwa wanafunzi wangu mm. Na huwa na jivunia kwamba I have I have Uneza mentored. Taja, yule na yule, 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 yule yes. 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 That's my claim to fame. Aha. Yeah, our and your products wangu. Safari yako ilianzea wapi siyasa? Siyasa wakati nilikuwa judiciary, mm -hmm. as chief register of the judiciary. Mm -hmm. Na kumbuka wakati uo walianza kunifanyia kesi mm -hmm. eh, na mashitaka kwamba nimetumia vibaya mm -hmm. 
mali ya umma katika judiciary mm -hmm. niliitwa katika bunge na parliamentary accounts committee mm -hmm. na nikaenda huko nikaambiwa unaenda kufanya presentation kueleza vile pesa ilitumika na nilichukua muda kabisa kutengeneza evidence yangu zote nilipanga kwa vitabu photocopies yote wa in full color mm -hmm. kwa sababu nilikuwa naamini wataelewa lakini wakati nilienda hiyo parliamentary accounts committee nilishangaa sana mm -hmm. watu waliangalia mwingine akaongea kitu moja akatoka wakusoma hata walitoka kutoka hiyo room bila kubeba hiyo copy and ilikuwa 150 pages uh -huh. ya evidence nilikuwa nimewatengenezea spiral bound 24 copies moja kwa kila member ya parliamentary committee hawakubeba hawakubeba wakunisikiza mm -hmm waliongea tu kitu ndio press wasikie na wakatoka na kumbuka nilitoka huko kama nimekufa moyo sana nikajiuliza kama ni hapa natakana kuja nipate haki na hawa watu hata hawezi kunisikiza hii ni nini sasa so vile nilitolewa judiciary nika decide hiyo bunge nitaingia so that i can sort it out na nikasema na vile niliingia bunge utaambiwa na watu kwamba mimi nilikuwa chairperson ya delegated um, committee on delegated legislation na wakati nilikuwa eh, mwenyekiti utaambiwa tuli nilikuwa, nilikuwa na ni reports ya committee yangu ilikuwa ya juu kuliko committee yoyote tangu bunge ianze pia nilise, tulisema kana tume we the most performing best performing committee i was the most performing chair of committees So niliweza hata wakati watu walikuja mbele yetu walikuwa nasikiza hawa na kikisha tumesoma ripoti yao nilikuwa naambia mtume report mbele ndio tusome tuelewe kwa sababu nilikuwa nasema sitaki mtu afanyiwe vile nilifanyiwa mm -hmm. so ilikuwa kwa sababu ya shida yangu nikaingia kilichokuchochea kuingia katika siasa mm. ni haya mambo ambayo unaona kwamba hakukuwa na haki yes katika bunge yes yes ulivyoingia katika ulingo wa siasa ukaenda mm. labda ulizungumza na familia watu wa karibu na wewe ukamwambia mm. naingia kwa siasa mm. was there any sort of resolution wali wasema hapana usiingie hiyo mm. siasa ni mchezo mchafu mm -hmm. ama katika familia yako kulikuwa na mwanasiasa sasa ikawa ni rahisi mm. eh. no hakuna no, mwanasiasa katika familia yangu hakuna mm -hmm. mtu familia yangu amewahi kujulikana mm -hmm. ama amewahi kuwa tv mm -hmm. so lakini eh, by that time family yangu walikuwa wameniona vile nikisonga mm -hmm. na always family yangu walikuwa supportive okay. nikisema nataka fanya hii wanakubaliana na mimi na wanasimama na mimi mm -hmm. hapo ndio niko ni na baraka sana mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya hiyo lakini wakati nilikuwa na kesi ya judiciary nakumbuka nilikuwa naenda kwa tv kujitetea kwa sababu sasa bunge imekataa kunisikiza mm -hmm. sasa nikaanza kwenda kwa tv kila mara na, naeleza 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 Mama yangu akanipigia simu akaniambia wachana naye. You know mami wachana naye, wacha iende. Mm. Nikaambia sasa nitakubali waseme mabaya juu yangu na najua sio ukweli. Mm. Sasa nikaambia hapana mam I will fight for it. Mm -hmm. Na wakati waka niletea mashtaka mm -hmm. na kumbuka familia yangu, watoto wangu wote walikuja koti na mimi. Mm -hmm. Hata wakati nilienda bunge watoto yangu na familia yangu walikuwa pale na mimi. Mm -hmm. Na tuli tuli and hata vile walini charge pale kotini mm -hmm hata mamangu alikuwa anastuka nikaambia mama mimi ni mwanasheria mm -hmm. na sio mwanasheria mchache mimi naelewa sheria kuliko watu wengi katika Kenya mm -hmm. nikaambia nimesoma witness statements hakuna makosa nimefanya mm -hmm. na tuliweza kuendelea mpaka hiyo kesi ikaangushwa mm -hmm. tuniliweza ku, ku pia, eh, kwenda katika high court nikashinda JSC waka appeal wakaenda court supreme court of appeal mm -hmm. nikaenda mpaka supreme court na hivi majuzi mwezi wa pili hii mwaka unasema unashukuru Mungu mm -hmm. uh, niliweza ku, ku uh, Supreme Court iliweza kutangaza kwamba hakuna pesa yoyote ilipotea katika judiciary mm -hmm. na hakuna makosa yoyote nilifanya mm -hmm. na mwambiwa nilipe damages mm -hmm. kwa vile waliharibu jina yangu mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. na kama singekuwa mtu msha Mungu sijui ningekuwa wapi pengine ningekuwa ningekuwa madhare sasa mm -hmm. kwa sababu imagine ufungue gazeti kila siku Mm -hmm. jina yako iko hapo Gladys, Gladys, yes yes mizi 5 billion nini baka <laughs> watoto wangu wakanambia mama kama uliba 5 billion tuone zingine hata ikiwa hapa mm -hmm. you know it's, it's it was a very painful process sure. yeah so ni, hata wakati huo nikasema i'm more committed nikwe, nikwe katika bunge ndio tuhakisho kuna masheria ya kuchunga watu kwa hiyo maneno mm -hmm. hata kwa sasa 
ile sheria bado na sukuma pale bunge ni maneno ya um, eh, media houses wanaandika juu ya mtu bila ku confirm kama hiyo story ni ukweli mm. kwa sasa nimepeleka kama star publications niko kotini na hawa na nitashinda hiyo kesi nimestaki standard group pia kwa sababu ya kuandika maneno juu yangu yenye ziko uongo so unaona watu wa media wanataka kujua ukishika hiyo kalamu it's a privilege tafadhali andika haki na ukweli kwa sababu kama ingekuwa mtu mwingine kama singekuwa hii na personality yangu na vile nimelelewa kuwa a strong person pengine saa hizi mngeniona nikitembea kwa barabara nikiwa wazimu no no it's serious Yeah so lazima media wajue pia busiaribu maisha ya mtu. Mm-hmm. Na nilikuwa naambia watu wakati huo nilikuwa naenda kotini ya watu kaniuliza mbona unaendelea kufuata hii maneno sasa ushaingia bunge mm-hmm. bana bado unaendelea na hii uko na kazi nyingine. Nikamwambia hapana. Mm-hmm. This is not about Gladys Bosholey. It's about due process for sure. everybody. everybody. Kwa sababu akinifanyia mimi hivi mm-hmm. watafanyia the next person. Mm-hmm na ndio sasa nilihakikisha na sasa tutaleta uh, baada ya Supreme Court imefanya hii pronouncement mm-hmm. uh, da, tunaf, tunafuatanisha keso wamalize uh, maneno ya damages mm-hmm. ningependa so yes the judicial service commission mm-hmm. yeah, lakini ni, 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 pa, ni pesa ya umma mm-hmm. sasa unawezaje kukubali wale watu walianzisha hiyo maneno mm-hmm. mtu mwenye angeambiwa alipe ni mtu kama kina Willy Mutunga mm-hmm. watu wenye walianza hiyo ukora mm-hmm. kwa sababu sasa wanafanya um, Uh, uh, serikali mm-hmm. ama public walipe kwa, kwa for their uh, paying for their mistakes mm-hmm. mm. so ndabenye zina amount tu eh uh, we are we are calculating okay. tuko tuko sasa the katika unajua tulirudishwa sasa kwa employment and labor court mm-hmm. ndio pale tunafanyia hesabu okay mm-hmm. okay sawa yes. sawa katika mm-hmm. hii siasa ambayo umekuwa na elected positions kuna mm-hmm. changamoto ambazo mwanamke hapa nchini Kenya bado anapitia kwa sasa hii 21st mm-hmm. century yes yes uh, kuna intimidation Eh, kutishwa eh, maneno ya security mm-hmm. eh, pia hata last week tulikuwa mahali naitwa Keses mm-hmm. eh, Chuyat eh, a, a certain area last friday mm-hmm. yeah last friday tulikuwa kwa hiyo nilikuwa kwa hiyo rally mm-hmm. na mpinzani wetu eh, mwenye ayuko UDA mm-hmm. akatuma vijana wakaleta nyuki mm-hmm. katika hiyo rally na watu walikimbia na nilikanyagwa na hata sasa niliumia ni uh, kwa mguu. Mm-hmm. So ukiona maneno kama hizo inafanya wa, uh, wanawake wengi wasitaki wa kuingia wataki kuingia katika uh, katika katika uh, siasa. Mm-hmm. So kuna hiyo shida maneno ya security, safety, alafu kuna bullying. Bullying katika media, mm-hmm. bullying katika uh, social media. Unajua mm-hmm. hiyo character attack Eh, scandals kutishwa kutukanwa kama una thick skin kama mimi uta utaogopa kuingia kwa sababu sio wewe peke yako kama mama una unakuwa na hiyo shida kwa sababu hata watoto wako wanasoma hiyo mm-hmm. na inabidi mara nyingi niongee na watoto wangu mm-hmm. Ma, kila mara mtu akiandika kitu huwa anaambia naeleza na make sure kabla hata itoke na waeleza mm-hmm. so it's a big problem. So um, wanawake wengi watasema bi sitaki ku, kuletea watoto wangu shida. Mm. So wataingia kwa siasa. Yes, alafu kuna pia shida ya pesa. Mm-hmm. Eh, siasa yetu ya Kenya inahitaji pesa. Mm-hmm. So kuna wamama wengi I have met them wako competent wakiongea hata katika nini ukiwasikiza hata wakiwa kanisa vile wanaongea ama tukiwa mkutano huwa nasema huyu mama angeingia siasa. Angeingia siasa. Ang, yes, amazing women. In fact like dream yangu ni kutengeneza a fund. Yeah, niwe tuwe, tuwe na pesa under a foundation enye nitatafuta wale women wenye wako competent ni mwanda wako na potential tuwasaidie to pick our as candidates na we support them through the campaigns. Kwa sababu hiyo ndio shida. Na unajua wamama wengi hawana Uh, economic power sure. some women ukiona kwa in a family mzee akitaka kuingia siasa anaweza uza shamba mm. na atumie pesa kuingia siasa mm. but you think a woman anaweza sema nataka yeah. kuuza shamba you know, ya familia ndio right. niende yes mm. so it's not equal mm-hmm. so even though watu wanafikiria society is equal is not equal mm-hmm. hata mimi nasema kwa kimila yetu mm-hmm. ya kalenjin 
tayari women were not supposed to be in leadership ndio ngoa naambia watu ukiona tukiwa na ile ceremony ya mtu akiwa akipewa blessing ya kuwa eh, leader anavalishwa kitu inaitwa sambut ile ngozi ya ya imetozo ngozi ya ngombe nguo kwani yes yes kinyumbani kwetu inaitwa sambut okay. lakini hakuna siku mama atavalishwa sambut mm -hmm. na itawezekana hata kwa sababu sio ita tabu sio kimila yetu mm -hmm. so tayari kimila yetu ilipanga kwamba ni wanaume peke yao yes, ndio watakuwa ya so itachukua muda watu waone kwamba mama anaweza mm -hmm. na huwa mimi najiona kama huo mimi nisimama kama mfano kwa sababu wanajiambia nisipokuwa strong nita let down wa, wanawake wengi kabisa yeah, wengi wanaangalia yes, so hata saa zingine naona nimeshindwa wanajiambia hapana simama mm -hmm. dust your hands and mm -hmm. simama na uendelee mbele kwa sababu kuna wale wananitegemea mimi ndio waweze kuingia kiti kama hii mwakati mwingine kabisa so hiyo ndio and that's why affirmative action iko na maana sana ndio maana uliona katika bunge nilipigania kuwa na hiyo two thirds gender rule iwekwe katika sheria mm -hmm. atuku atuku faulu nimemaliza mm -hmm. miaka tano nikijaribu kusukuma mm -hmm. na ikuwezekana mm -hmm. lakini ile shida tuko nayo ni kwa sababu party leaders wetu hawana commitment individually kuhakikisha kwamba watapitisha hiyo two thirds gender rule nakumbuka wakati tulikuwa jubilee in 2017 manifesto ya jubilee page 30 ilisema the two thirds gender rule itakuwa implemented within 100 days lakini hakuna siku ilipitishwa inahitaji eh, party leader wetu aite parliamentary group meeting naambie all the parliamentarians wa chama yake kwamba in position ya party nahitaji nyinyi muende muipitishe sa zile walitaka waongeze waongeze deni ya Kenya waliita mm -hmm. political parties waliita wenzao na kusema hii ni cham, ini, ini direction mm -hmm. tunaenda wakati walitaka kuongeza excise duty si waliita parliamentary group meeting na kusema hii ndio ndio mwenendo ya chama mm -hmm. na lazima wote muingie foleni mm -hmm. kama wangetaka wangeweza kuita parliamentary group meeting na kusema hiyo boshole bill ya two thirds lazima mupitishe kwa sababu iko page 30 ya manifesto ndio mm -hmm. maana sasa this time as Kenya kwanza women tuliambia political uh, presidential candidate wetu atutaamini iwekwe tu kwa manifesto tunataka personal commitment yako kama William Ruto mm -hmm. na uweke sahihi ndio maana uliona William Ruto alisema mimi nataka muniamini kama mnataka niweke sahihi wananchi wa wa Kenya wote wakiona mm -hmm ntaifanya ndio maana alifanya women's charter mm -hmm. katika eh, Nyayo Stadium mm -hmm. in public mbele ya wa, wanawake wote wa Kenya sio wa Kenya kwanza peke yake mm -hmm. kwa sababu ilikuwa live coverage tukaambia ameweka sahihi na alisema na aliaba mbele ya uh, ya mawakili mm -hmm. na wakili waliweka witness wakasema akasema mimi kama William Ruto nitakamilisha the following for women mm -hmm. amesema kwamba 10 cabinet positions 50% mm -hmm. ya cabinet mm -hmm. itaenda kwa wanawake mm -hmm. cabinet yake itaanza na 10 women mm -hmm. ya pili amesema hiyo hustle fund hustle fund uh, 50 billion shillings per year that means in 5 years ni 250 billion na amesema 50% of that inaenda specifically for women enterprises pia amesema kwamba ata apply two thirds within 12 months Two-thirds gender rule itakuwa within 12 months that means at least tutakuwa na 30% women kwa mabalozi mm -hmm. 30% women kwa directors ya state corporations mm -hmm. 30% women for chairpersons of state corporations 30% women for permanent secretaries na tuliambia andika na tutajua we will support you in 2027 kama haja timiza tutatumia hiyo document kumwambia sasa you're not coming back again kwa sababu you made this promise it is personal mm -hmm. sasa sio ya chama mm. it is his personal commitment as a party leader kwa sababu tuliona wakati wa jubilee there was no personal commitment kutoka eh, 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 party leader wetu so if i got you correctly a uh, two third gender rule must be realized under Kenya Kwanza government yes it will be realized under Kenya Kwanza it's my business mm -hmm. and the business of the Kenya Kwanza women <laughs>
No no kama tumechukua najua hakuna hakuna presidential candidate amewahi enda in a public place kwa historia ya Kenya na kuweka sahihi kama yeye binafsi kwamba atakubali na principles wote wa Kenya kwanza Mudavadi Wetangula Alfred Mutua Moses Kuria wote walikubali kwamba wanakubali so it is a commitment na walifanya mbele ya atujafanya kwa kando ya boardroom imefanywa in a public place na wamama kutoka Kenya mzima walikuwa pale na naona a lot of the young women walifurahia sana kwa sababu i meet a lot of women who are competent lakini hawapati positions katika serikali na najua tukifanya hii affirmative action na watu wa, wananchi waone kwanza kwamba wanawake wanaweza it will become automatic kuwapigia kura itakuwa automatic kuandika kazi yes kwa sababu saa zingine watu waamini mimi nikiwa when i was a young uh, professional nikiingia kazi nakumbuka nilikuwa nafanya UN nilirudi kazi baada ya baada ya wiki tatu kama nimeza siku sikufanya matani uh, sikwenda matani leave kwa sababu wakati huo niliona kwamba watu wataamini my ability wakiona nikisema naenda three months nyumbani mm-hmm. najua it's important for women to go for maternity leave but at that time for me to reach where i am i made some sacrifices mm-hmm. pia nakumbuka eh, ata nikiwa Kenya law reports the same thing nilirudi kazini almost immediately mm-hmm. of course nilikuwa naenda kazini alafu naweza rudi nyumbani mapema mm-hmm. but i still i did not siku wacha kazi hata nakumbuka Nairobi Hospital walikuja kuniletea some documents to sign nikiwa nikiwa bado hospitalini but it was i nilitaka kujionyesha kwamba naweza kwa sababu wakati walisikia wakasema eh hey, tujawahi kuwa na CEO mwenye anaenda maternity leave wakaanza kuongea ongea so nikasema aha you will watch me nikamwambia i am pregnant i am not sick so that's some of the challenges in anyafanya women wapoteze wakati a lot of young women wanaenda vizuri katika profession yao lakini wakifika mahali especially wakiolewa waanze kuzaa what happens is wanapata they lose almost 4 5 years and that's a big problem kwa sababu sasa they are not able wakifika wakirudi kazini wanapata watu wamepewa promotion kwa sababu haukua and that's why ata, wa, ukisikia yule Zuleka Mheshimiwa Zuleka kutoka Kwale uh, akituele, aki, alikuwa anapigania katika bunge kwamba tukue na mahali ya ku nurse the babies katika bunge ni kwa sababu anajua wakati aki, kama ange, so, kama angekutakana kufuatilia mjadala yoyote katika bunge sasa kwa sababu ya maneno ya ku, eh, eh, nursing the baby anashindwa so lakini akiwa na mahali sasa zingine anaweza kuja haraka kazini mtoto awe mahali afanye kazi yake na rudi yes yes so hiyo ndio shida that is affecting women mm-hmm. is actually during the childbearing years mm-hmm. and na hiyo ni prime ya ya profession yako sure. yeah hapo uh, uh, kwa Kenya kwa manifesto umezungumzia kidogo kuhusiana na yale ambayo uh, manifesto ya Kenya kwanza imeza mm. kuzingatia especially when it comes to mambo na wanawake yes. lakini mtu anaweza uliza mbona sasa anatupatia manifesto yeah. angekuwa anatekeleza haya mambo mm. na kuna baadhi ya yale ambayo alikuwa amesema uh, kuwa ataweza uh, kuweza kutekeleza katika manifesto yao pamoja na uh, rais Uhuru Kenyatta wakati wa jubilee hawajaweza ku, ku, uh, ku, mm. kuweza kutekeleza mm. masuala ya vipata kilishi labda pengine kwa wanafunzi na mambo tu mengine ambayo walikuwa mm. wamesema kwa wataweza kutekeleza mm. wakati wa manifesto yao mm. lakini mpaka sasa bado eh, unajua eh, hii eh, progress inaenda pole pole nimewahi kuona hivyo mm-hmm. kuna ile progress moi alituletea tulikuwa mbali sana mm-hmm. saa zile moi alikubali multi party democracy mm-hmm. si tukasonga step moja mm-hmm. kidogo kibaki akatuletea the new constitution tukasonga mbele kidogo new constitution ikapeana hiyo guarantees jubilee ikakuja eh, ilikuwa the first government in 2013 kuweza kufanya kazi ya the, under the new constitution wakaweka hiyo independent institutions judiciary kaanza kuwa independent kidogo tukakuwa na eh, human rights nini ikaanza kuwekwa so tukaona tumeenda mbele kidogo lakini na hii kazi wezi isha saa hizi lazima iishe it takes it's progressive mm-hmm. 
2013 to 2017 the jubilee government ilifanya vizuri mm -hmm. they walisema watafanya kazi ya laying the foundation sure. for a for a, a country yenye uchumi inazabadilika mm -hmm. so lazima ukuwe na road network mm -hmm. lazima uwe na tvets mm -hmm. vocational training kwa sababu uwezi kuwa industrialized mm -hmm. kama hauna watu wenye wako na ujuzi mm -hmm. so wakaanza maneno ya tvets na majenga mm -hmm. eh, waka na ilikuwa wakati ya devolution pia devolution ikaanza so you can see kulikuwa na progress. Mm. Um, tuka wakapia waka wakaweka maneno ya electricity. Mm. Yeye ilikuwa laying the foundation ya ndio tukue. Ndio mm. tuanze kujenga hii nyumba yetu mm. ya uchumi. Mm. Lakini wakati tulifika uh, 25 months after the elections in 2017. Si tulifanya elections in October ya kurudia. Mm. 5 months later in March tukawa na shida. Mm -hmm. Maneno ya handshake ikakuja manene ya big four yenye ilikuwa manufacturing mm -hmm. food security affordable housing and universal health care vitu ine mm -hmm. zote zikawekwa kando tukaanza maneno ya BBI tukatumia miaka mbili na mabilioni ya shilingi za Kenya kuweza ku, kufanya hii ukarabati yao walikuwa wanafanya ya BBI na ikakuja mpaka wakapitisha mm -hmm. sasa wakawacha kazi ile walitaka na kufanya so failing ya jubilee government mm -hmm. ilianza 27 eh, 2018 march mm -hmm. after wakaanza kubadila kusema tubadilishe uchumi program ya tukana kubadilisha katiba mm -hmm. eh, so they were saying kulikuwa na team badilisha katiba na team badilisha uchumi, uchumi. <laughs> kwa sababu badilisha uchumi ilikuwa big four mm -hmm. ikasaulika mm -hmm. watu wakaanza kuongea juu ya mamlaka mm -hmm. nani ni prime minister deputy prime minister and so on mm -hmm. and truth be told Yo BBI uhuru Kenyatta alitaka a third term. Mm -hmm. Alitaka akuwe prime minister eh Raila we eh, president. Mm -hmm. Alafu na alitaka akuwe prime minister in charge of defense, foreign affairs, um, for, foreign affairs, defense and security. So that is just being a president a different title. A different title. Mm -hmm. Alafu akajua kuna wale watakataa angalikuwa anasema atawapatia mamlaka akakina Mudavadi wetangula Kalonza awapatie deputy prime ministers wanyamaze. Ndio sasa akuwe na kila mtu behind him. William Ruto alikuwa isolated kwa sababu walijua hata kubali maneno kwa sababu alikuwa na alikuwa na ambition mm. ya kuwa yeah, president. president yeah. So angeweza kukubali mm. mtu aharibu hiyo mm. tragedy safari, safari yake ameanza. Mm. Na ameanza miaka 30. Mm. So hiyo ndio ilikuwa uh, that was the reality. Mm. Na tukasahau kazi yote ndio unaona wakati hata covid ilikuja tulikuwa tujafanya kazi yoyote juu ya eh, juu ya, ya uchumi. Mm -hmm. So in other words uh, so we the, everything was forgotten so na tukaribu what you're saying is that mm -hmm. DP Ruto haiwezi kufanya chochote kwa sababu kwa sasa hivi hana hiyo mamlaka ama lakini ama... sasa nyinyi mnajua kama media mnajua kulikuwa na kitu ilikuwa na National Government Coordination Act mm -hmm. ili executive order sijui number what iliandikwa na uhuru Kenyatta duties ya deputy president ilipewa uh, Fred Matiangi mm -hmm. it's a fact mm -hmm na ilikuwa iliweka Kenya Gazette so sio uongo sio fitina mimi nasema no, yes. asa wasa na upande tu wa uongozi wa wanawake <laughs> in general maybe as we sum up in terms mm. of uongozi mm. wa wanawake in general mm. where do you think or what do you think should be done in to ensure that mwanamke penye ako sasa hivi mm. ama penye anastahili kuwa mm. kitu gani kinastahili kufanyika so eh, kitu lazima tufanye tunataka kufanya audit kwa sekta zote mm -hmm. including the private sector ndio mm -hmm. tuseme vile wanafanya kwa nchi zingine kama France political party kama hawana eh, wanawake wa kutosha wanalipa fine ama wanakatazwa political parties fund wazingatie hiyo gender role yes mm -hmm. alafu tukuje kwa private companies Tuki, tulifanya uh, audit ya state corporations kuona nani ni chairpersons na directors mm -hmm. women wako chini kabisa hawajifika hata hata 10% mm -hmm. ukiona kazi ya uh, also private sector so tutasema to ndio ikwe incentive tunaambia private sector ile ina has has come as a field the two third gender rule kutoka juu mpaka chini so kama ni media house tuangalie kutoka md mpaka mm -hmm. the smallest journalist at the bottom mm -hmm. tuone if you don't meet the two third gender rule then if those who meet the two third gender rule wanaweza pata hata some tax break or something wapewe incentive ama tuwaweke tu kwa list of shame mm -hmm. 
tuseme this company we even hata serikali isipofanya sisi kama wamama tutaanza blacklist mm -hmm. and we shall say the following private companies do not hire women and they are not friends of women mm -hmm. so we should not buy their products mm -hmm. yes Tuta, lazima tuwapeleke watu wajue na watambue na hivyo ndio inafanyika ukiona hii fortune ukiona fortune 500 companies wanafanyanga hivyo kwa nchi zingine uwezi kupata ISO certification kama anguna gender compliance mm. Okay, so easy from where you sit. Kitu gani ambacho ulifanya tu na ukaona hiki kitu mimi nilifanya na mimi na style. I can say mm. this is my legacy nimeacha since I was in politics. Mm -hmm. so, Umezungumzia tu third gender rule what else? Uh, I also did the reparations bill. Mm -hmm. uh, enye ilikwama katika bunge kwa sababu pia uh, the government was not supporting it. Mm -hmm. Reparations bill kwa for historical injustices. Mm -hmm. Na ingewezekana kupita because as you know the Kenyatta family wako kwa hiyo ndungu report. Mm -hmm. Even though Uhuru Kenyatta in 2015 ye mwenyewe mm -hmm aliandika kwamba alisema alikuja bunge na akasema nataka tufanye we ali apologize for historical injustice na akasema nataka tuweke mikakati mimi nikatoa sheria pia ile kitu naweza kujivunia mm -hmm. ni the pest, uh, pesticide petition mm -hmm. kuna pesticides inatumika kwa mashamba zetu enye tayari imekatazwa katika US ime, Europe and the UK imesemekana kwamba zina cause cancer brain damage kidney failure ndio maana unaona watu wengi wamekoa gonjwa siku hizi so ituli uh, tuli, niliweza kuipitisha ikapita katika bunge na bunge sasa kwa hizo ilikuwa mbili na sabini ilitakana kutolewa tumeweza kutoa saba sasa since last year na tunaendelea na hiyo so hiyo nasikia proud of it because tuta save lives ya wananchi na pia tunasema right to food is another bill nimeleta bunge kusema watoto wakiwa shule wapewe nutritious food enye hata wakikula kitu enye si nutritious nyumbani mm -hmm. they can be able to grow mm -hmm. so for me those are uh, the cousin members are kufanya katika bunge sawa yes. sawa asante sana thank you so much yeah, asante huyo amekuwa Gladys Boss Shule ambaye ameza tu kuzungumza masuala ambayo ameza kupitia na vile vile yale yote ambayo ameza kufanya mm -hmm. wakati amekuwa uh, uh, katika ulingo wa siasa kutoka mm -hmm. hapa mimi sina la ziada night of violets au ma Santa Violet. <laughs>